Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man. On my way to Knoxville from Gadsden, Alabama. I just uh, about five minutes ago left the hotel, uh, Holiday Inn Express in Gadsden. And uh, the morning's already off to something exciting. I was on the interstate just getting ready to exit onto this highway. And man, I was going about 60 miles an hour and something hit me in the eye, in the right eye. I don't know what it was. It felt like, I guess it was a big bug, but it was something big. I mean, hit me square in the right eye. And it hurt. I don't know what it was. I don't think it was a rock. I think it was a like a really large bug. Man, I've never had that happen. I've never been hit in the eye in all the years I've been riding motorcycles. And if you see how I look over my windscreen, and plus I got my helmet on, it's like a one or two inch window that bug had to get through to get to my eye. It did it. But anyway, we're on the way to Knoxville. It's about six o'clock in the morning. It is a beautiful morning, 70 degrees, very little wind, and... Um, <clears throat> Hopefully a less eventful day than yesterday. I tried to post my motovlog last night from the hotel, but the uh, internet connection at the hotel I was at just couldn't handle it. So I'm going to try again. Once I get to Knoxville, I'll try to post yesterday's motovlog so you can see because it was a really interesting ride. It's a long motovlog, but a lot of interesting things happened. And... Also, last night when I got to the hotel, they told me I was uh, it was okay for me to park underneath the uh, carport, you know, where you check into the hotel. So I did, but you always have to be aware when you do that, when you park your motorcycle underneath those carports, that those carports are fire lanes. And that's where a fire truck's going to pull up if they need to get into the hotel. And I have stayed in a hotel in, on my motorcycle, parked there when a fire alarm did go off. And I got news for you. If that fire truck needs to get where it's going, it's going to push your bike right out of the way. Now, I was fortunate enough that that didn't happen. I'm looking forward to getting here and meeting all my YouTube buddies. Uh, some of them I've met, like Chris Caliente, and uh, some of them I've just communicated with through the internet, but haven't actually had a chance to meet in person. So it'll be kind of interesting to get a chance to see these people and uh, have a chance to visit, get to know them a little better. So I'm going to just head on down the road or up the road and I'll check in when more exciting stuff happens. And by the way, if you like these moto vlogs, and if you want to see more moto vlogs, I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will let you know when we get a new video posted. Just about to leave Georgia and cross the Tennessee border. We're now in Tennessee. I mean, it's just such a beautiful place. You got hills, you got curvy roads, you got good roads. This uh, small little uh, bit of mist, really, it's really not even a rain right now, but I don't know what I'm gonna do to protect the GoPro. There was nothing in the forecast about rain. I guess I'll try to cover it with my hand. Well, I think it was just one little rain cloud that we had to drive through. It only lasted about two or three miles, and it never came down very hard. I was concerned about the GoPro because I didn't even bring the waterproof case. Normally, if I see that it's going to rain, I just won't even put the GoPro on, but I'll just leave it in the trunk. But there was absolutely nothing in the forecast today about rain, but just one little cloud overhead dumped a little rain, and looks like it's going to be clear up ahead but i'm on us 129 
heading to Interstate 40 and picked up a little bit of traffic the closer we get to Knoxville. Uh, once I get kind of in the area of the hotel, I'll probably uh, stop and get gas one last time. And then I'll touch in with you when I get ready to head to the Museum of the Appalachians this afternoon. Well, I've already checked into my hotel, the Hampton Inn, here in Knoxville, and I'm on my way to the uh, Museum of the Appalachian for the opening, whatever they call it, opening ceremony or barbecue or whatever it is. I've been to this museum before. It's actually kind of cool. It's one of those period museums, like back in the day of Daniel Boone, where everybody has all the displays set up and... I'll shoot some video with my phone to show you, but it's actually kind of a neat place. And it seems like last time we were here, it was, it had rained a lot that day and maybe it was even raining when we got there. And I just remember a lot of people, you had to park out in the grass and there was um, a lot of people dropping their bikes. I remember that on the wet grass. Okay, we're at the Museum of Appalachia, and I'm following some guys in here. Just a little bit of a gravel road, but a good gravel road. It's not a hard one to ride on. And I have no idea where we're supposed to park, so I'll just follow them, and we will uh, find a place to park. I think I'm really, really early, probably an hour and a half early. I'm just, I didn't pre-register, so I thought I'd come in early and get, a, get my registration stuff going. Oh, there's already quite a few bikes here. As you can see over here, they're already starting to file in. Now I'm here at uh, Wingding 2018 at the Museum of the Appalachians. Behind me you can see the big tent where everybody's going to attend the celebration tonight. I kind of wanted to get away from the crowd because it's kind of noisy. It's a big crowd, lots of gold wings, lots of gold wing trikes. Um, if you've never been in the Museum of the Appalachians, it's a pretty cool place. Um, there's all kinds of these period buildings, kind of like stepping back in the Daniel Boone era. You can see some of them behind me here. I'll walk around and get some shots. But uh, it's a really neat place just to walk around and uh, get a lot of history of the area and of the uh, Tennessee in general. So anyway, um, at the Museum of the Appalachian, Wingding 2018, more stuff to come. Just stay tuned to the YouTube channel and uh, hang in there with cruisemansgarage.com. Had a good visit with some friends from Florida. And as I was leaving, a couple of other guys came up to me and started talking to me. They've seen some of my videos, and one of them from Israel. It's kind of neat to know that I have uh, people around the world watching the videos. So I'm heading back to the hotel. We're going to call it a day. And um, that's all for now on Cruise Man's Motovlog from Wingding 2018. Check in tomorrow for a new video.